Today, we are going to learn how to see without eyes. Allow me to introduce to you your new teacher, Professor Bat. No, not Batty or Professor Snape. Bats are a wondrous species. Well, of course they are. Their creator is wondrous. Bats are the only mammals which can fly. Soon you will find out why that is extremely helpful to you and I. Hashem gave bats a very important job to help protect us. Because bats eat a huge number of harmful insects. A single brown bat can catch over 1,200 flying insects in one hour. Including mosquitoes and moths. That's a lot of mosquito bites you are being protected from and moth holes in your wardrobe. And if you don't particularly like beetles or grasshoppers, scorpions, centipedes, ants, flies, and crickets, then you have the bat to thank because he does like them and they are on his daily menu for catching and eating along with the mosquitoes. Bats are Hashem's natural pesticide. Bats make up almost a quarter of all mammals. Yep, you heard that right. A quarter of all mammals on this planet is bats. There are more than 1,100 species of bats in the world. Bats are nocturnal, which means they are active at night. While we sleep, they are awake. Thank you, Hashem, that you designed bats to be active in the dark when it's easier for them to hunt pests and harmful bugs. But actually, bats don't see well at night. So how can they catch thousands of insects that could harm us? Bats live inside dark caves and alcoves. So Hashem gave them a navigational system besides their eyes. They use echolocation to see at night. <laughs> Sounds like a fancy word, but really, it is made of two words you already know. Echo and location. Bats listen to the echo to know the location of the insects they catch. Echolocation is what submarines use to see underwater. Submarines have no eyes. Actually, they have no windows. Portholes would not help deep under the oceans, where there simply isn't enough light anyway. Instead, submarines send a beep sound known as sonar signals, which bounce off the ocean floor and any other object, and they tell the submarine what is around them and how far or near it is. Scientists know how fast sound travels, both in the air and underwater, so they can calculate the exact shape and location of the item the echo bounced from. Ooh, cool! Well, submarines learned echolocation from the bat. When a bat flies, it makes a lot of high-pitched beeps Humans cannot hear these sounds, but bats can. Biologists who study bats have instruments to record these high-pitched beeps and then play them back at a lower frequency so humans can hear them. The sounds of their screams or beeps bounce off objects and the echoes tell the bat there's a wall over there or a tree in front of them, or a moth flying over to their left. If their high-pitched screams do not bounce back, the bat knows there's nothing in front of him. 
bats use echolocation to catch their food. Like we said, mosquitoes, butterflies, even dragonflies. When a bat begins its nightly exploration, it usually sends about 10 beeps per second. When they hear an echo from something good to eat, their beeps increase to 200 beeps per second. This increase of beeps lets the bat sense the exact movement of the flying insect the bat is trying to catch for supper. Hashem designed bats with very large ears to maximize their ability to echolocate. That means the echo of the sound waves they hear, which bounce off the mosquito, in order to locate and eat the insect before it sucks your blood while you're asleep. David HaMelech would sing the words of Chesed Kel Kol Hayai. Hashem's Chesed is going on all day and into the night. Did you know that bats spend several hours a day cleaning both themselves and other bats? They do this by licking any dirt from their large wings and ears. Many species of bats live between 20 and 30 years. How does Hashem help bats keep warm inside those drafty caves? Hashem gave bats folding wings, which are so wide, they cover their entire body, and that traps the air against their bodies for instant insulation, instant warmth. Hashem wants us to see how much He takes care of every creature so that we are filled with love for Hashem's beautiful Ecolocation is a God-given power in the design of the bat. Thank you, Professor Bat, for showing us more Niflois Abere, the wonders of our Creator. And thank you, Hashem. How amazing are all the creatures you made, all designed with awesome wisdom. The entire Earth all belongs to you. Marabu Masech Hashem. How wondrous is everything you've made. Kulam de Chochma Sito. You made them all with wisdom. Maliaretz Kinyanecha. Your entire earth is filled with your ownership.